to fulfill all your wishes. Hmm. Huh? Ayaka. Huh? Huh? Uh, uh. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Traveler, Paimon, it is a pleasure to finally meet you both face to face. <laughs> I have heard all about how you helped our three friends. My sincerest thanks to you. <sighs> yeah, short of getting them their visions back, it seems like there's no way to really help them. Um, Ayaka, how come this time you get to come out and meet us in person? <laughs> Because now that you have done the three things I asked of you, I consider you to be my friends. As you will observe, I dispense with the screen for Toma also. Mm-hmm. Wait a second. But isn't Toma your... um... servant? Paimon's happy to help and all, but Paimon sure as heck did not sign up to be a servant! Oh. <laughs> Paimon, you are most entertaining. Toma is first and foremost my friend, and was so before he ever became my attendant. Oh, okay then. Ayaka, you seem pretty different out in the open compared to how you are behind the screen. <laughs> Thank you both kindly. Back to the matter at hand. You have now witnessed the pain of those deprived of their visions. What are your feelings on what you have seen? <sighs> Perhaps in the eyes of a deity such as the almighty Shogun, the lives of those who inhabit the world are inconsequential. Thunders roar, lightnings flash, the winds assault, and the rains descent. All these things take place with no regard for the feelings of the common people. But I believe that surely you understand what they must endure. It seems that perhaps now you can appreciate my feelings on all of this. In which case, you will? Really? Naturally. <laughs> Alright, bravo, my lady. You were right all along. See? I told you she wouldn't reject them. I'd placed my trust in the right person after all. Now then, given that the remainder of our discussion pertains to matters of a more... confidential nature, perhaps we can move to the Komori Tea House? We ought not to involve other members of the Yashiro Commission. Well, here we are again! Please continue without me. I'll keep watch. So, what's the deal with this place anyway? What makes it your favorite meeting spot? This is a land that was gifted to the Yashiro Commission by the Shogun. The Kamisato clan has the exclusive right to plan, build, and repair any property on this land. And even to allow or deny access. Such privileges exist due to the Yashiro Commission's role in managing ceremonial affairs. Oftentimes, it is not appropriate to discuss details in front of bystanders. Oh, Paimon gets it! Gotta keep a bit of mystery, right? Once the number of ceremonial affairs conducted in the city began to decline, our forebearers built a tea house here. Only members of the Yashiro Commission are permitted to come and go as they please. Makes sense. Perfect place for a secret base. In any case, we can talk freely here. I presume you have a few questions that you wish to ask me? Of course. We have tried on numerous occasions. Unfortunately, each time a proposal to repeal the decree arrives at Tenshukaku, it is promptly vetoed by both the Tenryo Commission and the Kanjo Commission, and subsequently scrapped. They invariably adopt a stance of unconditional support for the Shogun's decisions. They have no interest in discussing anything. It almost makes one wonder whether they had a hand in the Shogun's sudden decision to issue the Vision Hunt Decree. 
The issue is this. For the vast majority of people, the Vision Hunt Decree is something that has no implications whatsoever. After all, it is but a tiny minority of people who receive visions. Moreover, it is not unknown for visions to spark jealousy in others. Because of this, the attitude of most people towards the Vision Hunt... How can they be like that? Nevertheless, in addition to us, there was... Resistance? You mean like an army? Yes. Many who have lost or fear losing their visions have rallied together under Sangonomiya on Watatsumi Island to form a resistance group. To say a little more about Sangonomiya, historically, there has always been some conflict between them and the Shogunate of Narukami Island due to their different belief systems. But I do wonder whether there may be some other agenda behind their resistance movement, beyond merely fighting the Vision Hunt Decree. The Almighty Shogun. I've seen her on but only a few occasions, most of them formal ceremonies. She inspires awe, commands respect, and exudes a sense of absolute authority. But as I recall, there was something else about her that struck me even more deeply. It was her almost complete lack of any emotion. In that sense, she appeared to me to be less of a ruler and more of, well, an executive official, I suppose. Focused exclusively on her single goal of implementing eternity. Acting accordingly, without feeling. Ooh, ooh, Paimon has a- Oh? What- Have you got a plan yet? To fight the- To be honest, we do not. Uh, what? Please. Do not forget that challenging the Vision Hunt Decree is tantamount to challenging a deity. Coming to terms with that is already a difficult step to take. So... so what are we gonna do? Well, for the moment, all we can do is try and reduce the harm that is being caused by this decree. For example, by providing Vision Bearers with safe refuge, or manufacturing counterfeit visions for them as a contingency measure. You're telling Paimon that there are people out there who can make fake visions? Don't underestimate the talents of the craftspeople in Hanamizaka. To the naked eye, their counterfeits are indistinguishable from the genuine article. The problem we are facing right now is that Master Masakatsu, who was providing us with counterfeit visions, has recently been arrested by the Tenryo Commission. Darn! So they found out about it? Ugh. Yes. We knew it was not a long-term solution, and that it was only a matter of time before it would be exposed. But we cannot simply abandon Master Masakatsu. Exactly. I feel the same way. But given mine and Toma's identities as part of the Yashiro Commission, breaking him out of prison would risk dragging down the reputation of the entire Kamisato clan should we be caught. That would only serve to cast suspicion on any future activity we might seek to attempt. <laughs> By no means do we intend to place the burden of such a task on your shoulders alone. When you are ready, Go to Hanamizaka, and look for a firework shop run by the Nagunohara family. There, you will find someone who can help you. Just hand it over. You don't want any trouble with me. 
If you think your elemental powers are enough to resist the Vision Hunt decree, then you'd better think again. Believe me, you're not the first of your kind we've encountered, and we've seen the same unpleasant outcome time after time. You'd best save yourself the trouble. Uh, can't you make an exception? I just got this vision. I won't even use it, I promise. So this is the Vision Hunt decree in action, huh? We can't just sit around and watch things unfold, can we? Psst! Hey! Huh? There's someone trying to get up. on! Uh, what's going on? Can't you- Shh! Quiet! Hey! This isn't right, you know- Huh? Hey, wait! Shh! If you don't keep your voice down, I won't have what- <sighs> All right, all right. <laughs> Wise. What should we do now? He's already given up. Uh, this is your fault. <sighs> Many thanks, Miss Yoimiya. If you hadn't swapped me a fake just now, I'm sure I would have lost. No worries. You put on quite the convincing performance. Oh, so that's what's going on here. And to think Paima was... <laughs> Think nothing of it. I could tell from your reaction we were on the same side. You just... Oh, right. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Yoimiya, the current owner of Naganohara Fireworks. It ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> Great to meet ya. Practically everyone on Hanamizaka knows Yoimiya. She's the queen of the summer festival. Without her and her fireworks, summer on Narukami Island just wouldn't be the same. That's quite the introduction. Paimon loves fireworks. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Stop it, Hanjiro. You'll embarrass me. As for thanking me, you'd be better off thanking Master Masakatsu. He's the one that gave me the fake visions in the first place. His handiwork allowed me to keep my own vision. Whew, I can't even imagine trying to run the business without it. Ugh. Yes, Master Masakatsu is a good man. It's too bad good people seldom get the recognition they deserve. Master Matsukatsu? Huh? Do you guys know him too? You don't say. Then it sounds like the Shirasagi Himegimi has a plan. Awesome! I've been thinking about breaking him out too recently. But if I just march straight in there by myself, I'd probably get mis- so, what about you? Sure, welcome to the team! Ayaka <laughs> Seems like I finally got a new job to do! Uh, you know, besides hiding vision bearers in my shop, that is. <laughs> so, Master Masakatsu is being held at the police station. Whoa, talk about a reliable source! See, not bad, huh? <laughs> Let's go as soon as everyone's ready. Don't worry, Master Masakatsu, we're on our way! Time to break him! Come on, this way. As long as we stay quiet, we've got a good chance. I certainly wouldn't want to end up locked away in here. We should split up. I've got a little present. Uh, you sure? Yes, uh... Ha! 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 
Did you really think that little trick of yours could fool us? <laughs> Locking you up was just the beginning. <sighs> no. Oh no! Those Tenryoka mission brutes are torturing him! If we don't come up with a way to break him out fast, then... <gasps> Yaimiya! Uh, I can't bear to watch. If... Hey, you there! What are you doing? Ah, uh, ma'am. We were just teaching him a little lesson, that's all. Huh? Who's that? That's Kujo Sara, adopted daughter of the Kujo clan of the Tenryo Commission. Make way, let me have a look at him. <sighs> I'm sure you're well aware that torture is strictly against military regulations. I yes, ma'am. If you are unashamed of such disgraceful action, then you are also unworthy of the Tenryo Commission itself. Do I make myself clear? Y yes, yes, ma'am. It won't happen again. Oh, Paimon sure wouldn't want to get on her bad side. Hey, this is our chance. Let's move while they aren't watching Master Masakatsu. Yoimiya, are you sure now's the right time? <sighs> Who is that? Quick, go and investigate. Yes, ma'am. They're coming! Quick, hide! Sorry, sorry, sorry! I didn't mean to... Don't worry, I've got us covered! Ah, firework! Huh? Was that an explosion? It, it sounded like firework. Quick, let's hurry! were enough to... <laughs> Fireworks aren't just for festivals, you know. <laughs> I was particularly proud of this batch. I decided to... Whoa! Guy! Whoa! Uh, uh, yeah, Mia. Well, fireworks are my craft after all. Every batch has to be spectacular. Uh, look, the coast is clear! Now they're... Yoimiya, is that you? Master Masakatsu! Sorry we took so long. Oh, those awful guards. Come on! We've got no time to lose! They could be back any minute! Yes. Leave. Before I let my judgment get the better of me. He's in serious condition. Be sure he gets in- But remember, once he's recovered, it won't be long until I bring him right back. Uh, well... <clears throat> you can bet we'll do- Phew. 
creepy place. Yes. Finally, I've made it out of there. Master Masakatsu, how do you... Don't worry. I think I can make it to the infirmary without keeling over. Thank you. All of you. I'll take him to get treated. Don't worry about us. Just take care of Master Masakatsu. <sighs> Good thing we were able to rescue him. Right, Kujasara. It seems as though there are some okay people among the ranks of the Tenryo Committee. How about we go tell 